first thing first, save your file. How you can do that? File, save as, go to your own workspace, which is your H drive, which I don't have it in my computer, but you should have it in your own. Save it in your own location. For now, I save it in my own, maybe I call it as, I create a new folder. Scratch task PS 5.2. I save it as my index number for my name and so there you go I have saved the file let's look into the objectives or the preparation directly preparation import the background tabletop as you can see on the bottom right corner of this program there is this stage but this is blank so if you want to import a stage, a background into the stage, go to the go to the background step, import, go to the location where you have the file, let's say we are going to import this tabletop. If you don't need this background, just delete this by pressing this cross button. So make sure your stage is fully covered. Let's look into the next task. Import the image of an ant. We are going to import a new one. So under new sprite, we don't choose paint new sprite, but we choose a new sprite from the file. Go to the location where you have the file. We import ant1 first. We have imported one. Next, resize the image appropriately. Once you have imported the ant, make sure the ant, the sprite name is relevant. So rename this to ant. And you resize it by pressing the shrink spike. Go over the end and you shrink it. Not only that, if you were to see at this part, you can see a blue line which is the orientation of this sprite. This blue line indicates that the next movement of this end is going to be on the right because it's pointing on the right. The direction 90 degrees means it's pointing to the right. So if it's pointing to the right, you need to make this ant display in the right direction. How you can make it display? Go under costumes, edit this costume, you rotate it, rotate it clockwise. Now it is pointing to the right. As you can see here, the blue line is pointing to the right from the center of the sprite and the end itself is also facing the right. Okay, let's say now the end is going to appear directly on top of the hole. So just click, drag and drop the end on top of the hole. Okay, let's look into the next task, scripting. Place the end where the hole of the tabletop is. We have done that already. Number two, make the ant walk towards the further end of the screen. How to make the ant walk? We will do this by the scripts tab. If you want to run a program inside Scratch, first thing you need to bring this button. When green flag is clicked, this is a block. This is a control block over here. As you can see, there are many types of control blocks. One type of control block is the main important one, which is the when green flag is clicked. Once this is done already, 
you need to make sure the ant comes to this location first. Go to motion, go to x and y. This is the present coordinates of this ant. x equals to minus 177, y equals to minus 80. Make sure the ant is appearing at this location, minus 177, minus 80. You need to make the ant walk right now, to the right. How you can do that? You can make it move 10 steps. Let's see how this runs now. It moved just slightly to the right. Is that enough? We need to make the ant move till to the end of the screen as required by the script. So we will make it repeat until it walks to the end of the screen. What we can do, we go over to the control block. We will choose something which it will repeat. It will repeat. Repeat until so you need to do a sensing, something like until it is touching the screen. So you go to sensing block. You choose the touching. Select H. H means the edge of this stage. Let's see what happens. There you go. So the walk, the ant has walked to the edge of the screen. What's the next task? Change the costumes of the ant while it walks towards the end of the screen. Let's go to the costumes of the ant. Make sure the ant is selected. If the stage is selected, you won't be able to see the ant's costume at all. So make sure the ant is selected. Go to costumes. Let's import. We have imported ant1. Let's import ant2. And we edit it, make sure it is pointing to the right. Same goes for ant3. Now, in the scripts itself, it is moving to the right but it is not changing the costumes every single 10 steps. What we can do, we can repeat the move of the 10 steps with the changing of the next costume. So what it does is it will move 10 steps first, change to the next costume. Let's say now it's an end one costume. If it is at the move 10 steps, the next block, what it will do is it will change to the next costume, which is ant 2, and so and so forth. Now, it's quite too fast for you to observe whether it is running correctly or not. So, what we can do is we can place a weight just before the zero point just before the next costume so we can put 0 0.1 seconds 0 0.1 second and we'll try playing this is the full screen mode on the top right corner so you can press this and you can press the green flag as you can see it is continuously changing the costume while it's moving we are not done yet Let's look at the next task. Make the ant disappear when it touches the end of the screen. As you can see over here, what's the first thing? It goes to the top of the hole. It repeats this movement of 10 steps and next costume until it touches the edge of the stage. The next step will be to just hide. So go to looks, hide. Let's see what happens. Always stop everything first before you press the green flag. 
Okay, the ant is moving to the right. And it disappears. Okay, let's see whether it runs again. Stop everything. Start green flag. What happened? Even though the process is running, when the white border is shown, the process is still running. But the ant is not there. Why? It is because the ant is still thinking that it has to hide. So you need to show in the beginning. So drag the show block, put it over here. Let's see what happens now. And it has run successfully. Last but not least, once your program is done, place the stop script at the end of this whole script. Thanks for watching. I hope you can complete your worksheet in 15 minutes time. It should not take much long for you. If you are just starting, you should be able to finish within half an hour. Thanks a lot guys. See you again. Bye.